I am a temple of God. It's hard oh, not to seem arrogant if you believe this. We're talking about things we believe. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying today. words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. Heaven. If this is your first time Jesus here, make sure you subscribe. Right if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 6. Therefore, we are always confident. Say, I'm always confident. And he's going to start to tell us why we're always confident. We are always confident knowing. Who? knowing something we're confident knowing something that whilst we are at home in the body meaning we're alive we're in this body he's going to talk about when we're not in this body when we've we've gone on to heaven but that's not right now if you're listening to this that's not right now knowing that whilst we are at home in the body we are absent from the lord they were absent from the lord now paul here this is paul writing to the corinthians and he's talking about the lord jesus he's saying while we are in the body say in the body we're absent from the lord from the lord jesus what does absent mean absent means we're away from right you're absent if you were absent from school you didn't make it to school while we're in the body you're in the body I'm in the body we're absent from the Lord meaning the Lord's not in the body are you here he's somewhere else verse 8 we are confident I say and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord so if we leave the body say we leave the body is this too difficult if we leave the body we're present with the Lord if we're in the body we're absent from the Lord seems pretty straightforward to me and we're talking about Jesus did Paul the apostle writing all of these things did he believe that when he was in the body he was present with the Lord that the Lord was present with him no did Paul believe that when he's absent from the body he would be present with the Lord yes straight up chapter and verse if you're in the body you're absent from the Lord if you're out of the body you're present with the Lord we shall be with the Lord be with the Lord we shall be with the Lord well this is decidedly different than what most people believe and most preachers preach and you may choose to not go on into this belief that I'm presenting to you tonight but it is thoroughly scriptural maybe maybe what you're believing is not thoroughly scriptural it might just be something that men have made up to make you feel better but in this we have great confidence and i'm telling you if you will go here to this belief that i'm talking about tonight you will have great confidence way beyond your little shallow belief that you once held to you may choose to not go on into this belief but if you choose to be with me and where we're going then you must go here you must believe this it's not optional one of the difficult things about being a forerunner in any message or believing something new or believing something different is that you're out front and when you're out front it looks like nobody's with you it seems often like you're all alone in this many people that I know that have embraced the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today 
and some of the things I'm gonna be telling you about feel like they're alone in it because they're out in front does this make sense but you're not all alone many are with me you may not be here yet but if you stay hooked up you'll get it and you'll have great confidence and you'll have great reward that comes with this belief and the Holy Ghost will become profitable unto you John chapter 16 verse 7 here's the words of Jesus nevertheless I tell you the truth it is expedient or profitable for you that I go away so we are going to be in this belief that Jesus went away and it will be profitable for us if I go not away the comforter will not come unto you so if the comforter who is the Holy Ghost is going to be profitable for you you must be in a belief and confident in a belief that Jesus went away whilst you are in the body you're absent from Jesus but he Jesus sent the Holy Ghost to be with you profitable here's Jesus some of the last words we have of Jesus speaking on the earth Acts chapter 1 verse 8 but you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come and you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth when is this gonna happen when the Holy Ghost comes then you will go and you will be witnesses with him the one that Jesus will send verse 9 and when he had spoken these things while they beheld he Jesus was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight now let me ask you a question was this physical Jesus was he physically there with them saying these words yes and he physically was taken up while he said these things he was taken up physically out of their sight into a cloud and was gone was disappeared where did he go well we know where he went he went into heaven let's read on here and while they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up behold two men stood by them in white apparel which also said you men of Galilee why stand ye gazing up into heaven or into the sky this same Jesus say this same Jesus the same Jesus that was standing there talking to them and physically went up into heaven via a cloud this same Jesus which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven and I always ask this has this happened yet no it has not happened yet then where is this same Jesus the real Jesus physical Jesus he must still be in heaven because he's going to come back in like manner as you have seen him go Jesus went away he physically intentionally made a distinct mark on their consciousness that he was gone a distinct mark on their consciousness that he was no longer there can you see this all the disciples were standing there they all the disciples were standing there and Jesus went up into a cloud and was gone Jesus went away Jesus was after this happened Jesus was gone 
and the angel said what are you standing around looking up for he will come back if he's gonna come back it means he was gone and had to be coming back from somewhere and you said yourself this hasn't happened yet so he was gone he's not here anymore that's what the disciples could have said they could have looked around at each other and said hey uh, Jesus isn't here anymore is he here anymore he's not here anymore that would be a completely ridiculous thing for them to even say he made it so clear that he was not here well this is what the Apostles believed you think they believed this did the Apostles believe this what I'm saying that Jesus wasn't with them anymore the real Jesus actual Jesus the one they knew the one that was just speaking to them went up into a cloud into heaven and was not there anymore did they believe this they really didn't have much of a choice but to believe it did they he was gone so Jesus the real Jesus the Jesus not there also the same Jesus not here I'm telling you he's not here shall return he ascended into heaven and shall return real Jesus shall return say it real Jesus shall return if you got any other Jesus than the one that's real and shall return then you you've got your Jesus is misplaced now remember Paul believed this remember we read this if I'm in the body I'm absent from the Lord which means the Lord is absent from you if I leave my body I go to be with the Lord and I'm present with the Lord why is this so difficult I tell you why it's so difficult because we have a whole bunch of preachers preaching something completely different listen real Jesus went up physically into a cloud and disappeared and went into heaven and was no longer with them and if those disciples right then happened to die they would go and be with the Lord Jesus right you following me here now this is what didn't happen when Jesus began to go up into the cloud he was standing there telling them things and he began to go up, in, up into the cloud he didn't Star Trek like dematerialize demolecularize and go into all of them actual Jesus went up and is in heaven to this day seated at the right hand of the Father scripture upon scripture upon scripture upon scripture he didn't dematerialize at that moment and go into all of the believers that were standing there if he did do that dematerialize and whoosh, go into all of the believers that were there they would have gone Jesus is in me I have all I need I shall go into all the world and preach the gospel because I have Jesus in me that's not what happened what happened was what Jesus said he was going to do he was going to go away and send another and the another came in Acts chapter 2 on the day of Pentecost Holy Ghost Paul didn't say Jesus was in him Paul said if I'm in this body I'm absent from Jesus if I leave my body I go to be with Jesus get this straight it matters if Jesus dematerialized and went into their hearts they would have said who let's go he specifically told them not to go oh he's with me he's in me now I shall go no 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 well they didn't say that and Jesus didn't say that in fact Jesus said wait for the promise of the Holy Ghost when he shall come he will do all of these wonderful things and then you will be able to go when he is come 
jesus said i must leave and i will send him and when he comes then you can go because he will be with you jesus be not with you holy ghost will be with you and we're in that day we're in this dispensation where the holy ghost be with us well i believe jesus did this so demonstratedly so that believers would not get so messed up and confused yet here we are physical jesus is still at the right hand of the father in heaven physical jesus is still in his physical flesh and bone body the real jesus not fictional jesus not man made up conceptual jesus shall return in the same manner as which he went up into heaven and that has not happened yet therefore we are listen we are in the holy ghost dispensation where the holy ghost has come into the earth and he is god in the earth today receiving him as god in the earth will be profitable to you in a way that jesus couldn't the holy ghost is god in the earth today and we walk with him holy ghost worshipers know this i'm going to say a few things holy ghost worshipers know this know what know that jesus is in heaven and know that the holy ghost is in them say i'm a holy ghost worshiper i know that jesus is in heaven and i know that the holy ghost is in me holy ghost worshipers know this because they know him as god if i ask a holy ghost worshiper where jesus is a real holy ghost worshiper will go the point i'll say jesus is in heaven at the father's right hand if i ask someone who says they're a holy ghost worshiper but they're really not and i ask them where jesus is and they start to point oh he's in my heart they just haven't got there yet or they haven't worshiped the holy ghost enough to have him eradicate all the erroneous doctrine that's been put into them over the years because jesus is not here if you're in the body you're absent from jesus but it's profitable to you because jesus the one that you're absent from has sent another and his name is the holy ghost and you glorify him in your body a majority of the body of christ is in error concerning this it's sad but true what did paul believe remember we read it if i'm present in the body i'm absent from jesus if i'm absent from the body i'm present with jesus that's what paul believed he wrote it that's what all the disciples believed they stood there and watched jesus depart and he didn't demolecularize and go into all of them they saw him depart and the angel said he will come he the same jesus will come in like manner and if it hasn't happened then jesus is still there the real jesus well that's what paul believed that's what the disciples believed that's what i believe that's what i believe that's what i believe and i'm confident in it can you hear that let's see what else paul believed first corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 what know you not that your body is the temple of the holy ghost now who is the holy ghost the holy ghost is the one that jesus at the right hand of the father sent to be with us your body is his temple not jesus's he didn't say what know you not that your body is the temple of jesus which is in you 
no he said what no you not your body is the temple of the holy ghost who is in you this body you have of god you're not just your own right because he's in there too who's in there too i'm in the body i'm not a, i'm i'm in the body and then he, and the holy ghost was sent what no you not then the holy ghost is in there you're not just your own therefore glorify god in your body what god am i supposed to glorify holy ghost holy ghost god holy ghost god in my body say it holy ghost god in my body i glorify him are you here so this is something paul believed can you see that paul wrote this is this something paul believed who was in paul's body what you don't know that your body is the temple of the holy ghost later on he says what don't you know that if you're absent from the body you're present with the lord if you're in the body you're you're absent from the lord what how do you not know this i'm reading black and white scriptures you have to have religious help to believe something different and we've had a lot of religious help so we see this is what paul believed it's what i believe you don't like it well tough i believe it i believe the holy ghost is god and he's in my physical body and i'm present he's present with me i'm present with him when i leave this body i will go and be present with jesus glorify god in your body glorify god in your body your body is the body is the temple of the holy ghost say my body is the temple of the holy ghost why are you so arrogant and it's not arrogance but here's a bible fact i am a temple of god it's hard not to seem arrogant if you believe this we're talking about things we believe i am a temple of god you haven't seen the half of it that shall come to pass in our day as we embrace the holy ghost the living god i am the temple of god say it i am the temple of god well obviously you got to know that god is the holy ghost and the holy ghost is god and he's the one in you but then you become by knowing that what know you not but when you do know it i am a temple of god the holy ghost me being the temple is just the beginning of good things to come listen you being the temple of god is just the beginning of good things to come i worship the lord my god and him only serve who am i worshiping holy ghost who am i serving holy ghost he's the only god in the earth today and all things shall be mine why because i am the temple of the lord my god holy ghost i glorify him in my body well this is a new kind of belief and this is a new day where this belief is taking hold you are the temple of him him yeah him the holy ghost the one jesus sent you are the temple of him his healing his health it's his body you're not the only one in there it's not just your body his healing in your body his health in your body his youth renewal in your body his prosperity and his wealth in your body his prosperity glorify god in your body seems arrogant glorify god in your body 
and all things shall be thine all things be his all things shall be thine when you glorify him in your body are you getting this you are god's plan haggai chapter 2 and verse 7 i will shake all nations the desire of all nations shall come and i will fill this house with glory saith the lord of hosts verse 8 the silver is mine and the gold is mine just in case you were trying to say the glory was some ethereal thing that didn't involve his wealth verse 9 the glory of this latter house shall be greater than the former say it the glory of this latter house will be greater than the former and i got news for you the former that he was talking about was solomon's temple which was the greatest in all the land are you here the glory of this latter house shall be greater than that sounds arrogant doesn't it i'm telling you you haven't seen the half of it and it's only just begun as we begin to glorify the living god the holy ghost in our bodies the glory of this house will be greater than the former habakkuk chapter 2 14 says the knowledge of the glory of the lord shall cover the earth the earth where are you you're in the earth if you're in the earth you're absent from jesus but you're not absent from the holy ghost you glorify him in your body and the knowledge of the glory of the lord shall cover the earth you are god's plan worship the lord your god and him only serve and all things shall be thine well herein is a way to a life filled and covered with his glory on earth well i don't worship the holy ghost my church doesn't worship the holy ghost then you can't see it and you can't know it but those who do begin to worship the lord their god the holy ghost and glorify him in their physical bodies shall see a day that very few have even thought could be possible but that day is now that day is here and we're beginning to walk with him as temples of the living god god the holy ghost in the earth today and his glory shall far exceed the things of the former temple and we'll be a part of it and we'll give him all the glory in jesus name amen if you have a tither and offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost i worship you you are god in the earth today you are god on the inside holy of ghost, me I'm and god i am your temple today. part of your glory is wealth and riches ghost, and i thank you today. that i'm being expanded and i'm being increased ghost, that i may glorify you today. and demonstrate you as the great holy wealthy ghost, god that god you are i worship you holy ghost I thank you for it. The Father in Jesus is in name. Heaven. Amen. Jesus at his right hand. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today.